Welcome to Transition Day, Class of 2021. I'm Mr. Wikowski. And I'm Ms. Brand. Welcome, Welcome to, to Central. Central. We are Student Services. Whenever you come into guidance, Ms. Grahofsky, otherwise known as Ms. G, is the first person you will meet. The first time you meet her, most likely, is because you are asking about driver's ed. She is the one and only person who has these necessary items. Make sure you're nice to her. She has a tough job, and you got to get through her to get to us. The backbone to student services is Mrs. Gala. She is a two-part job. She is part graduation coach and part dropout prevention. Most of the time, you're meeting with her if you have excessive absences or you are at risk of dropping out. Here come the counselors. Our first counselor is Mrs. Kathy Felker. She works with students with the last names A through C. Up next is Miss Desiree Martin. She has students with the last names D through J. I'm in the middle. I'm Miss Brand and work with students with the last name K through P along with the OCS and autistic students. And rounding us out is our fearless leader, Mr. Wachowski, who is our department chair, working with students with the last names Q through Z. We are lucky enough to have one of the best school social workers in the county. This is Miss Lene Mann, who serves four different schools. And it is with great honor and pleasure that we have Mrs. Patty Norris, who is your Freshman Academy Facilitator and located at the end of the freshman hallway. There are three very important things you need to know as a new high school student. Number one is that you need six credits to be promoted from the ninth grade to the 10th grade. And these are any courses you pass, but you must pass six courses or six credits. The second thing to know is if you are not promoted to the next grade level, you will not be eligible to play the sport in the following year. And then lastly, the magic number of credits to graduate is 27 credits. Another important thing to understand about high school is block scheduling. You, your year is broken up into two semesters, a fall semester from August to January and a spring semester from January to June. Each semester has four classes in it. And at the end of the year, you'll have eight total classes or eight credits. So in the next two slides I want to show you two examples of a student schedule. Uh, this is a non-STEM student so here's a fall semester and you're gonna see an English class, you're gonna see a world history class, and then two electives that this student is taking, theater and intro to Old Testament Bible. And then in January the student will take final exams and they're done with those four classes and that student picks up new classes in January in the spring and takes these four classes that will start in January and end in June and they'll take final exams and this is just an example of a student schedule now you'll notice they don't the student doesn't take English all year long doesn't take math all year long so so every class is just a semester long the next next example of a schedule is for a stem student so you'll see here, similarly, fall semester, spring semester, and classes listed. Now the second row of classes is your technolo technology engineering design and your design discovery. This is a paired class, and this goes all year long, and you get two classes out of this, this one period. And you'll notice as you look, I've highlighted mixed chorus because every other class is a required STEM class, and there's that room for that one elective. Now this student has chorus, but maybe you've selected another uh, elective, but that's that one place, and it wouldn't necessarily be in the spring. This is just an example, but you can see where seven of your classes are taken up with the required classes, and there's that one elective that you have the opportunity to take as a STEM student. Grading in high school is the exact same in middle school. We are still on a 10 point scale, where 90 to 100 is an A, and 0 to 59 is an F. So that magic number to pass a class is 60%. Everyone is always concerned about their grade point average and their quality points. So let's go into detail about what these are. A grade point average, otherwise known as a GPA, is comprised of all of the classes you have taken 
and the grades that you have earned. The weighted GPA, this includes any honors or AP courses and AP taking in your sophomore through senior year, and this is exactly what a college is looking for. This gives a student the benefit of the doubt because they have added honors or AP courses to their schedule. The unweighted GPA is if you put everybody at a standard level. Oftentimes scholarships look at this because they're putting people at an even playing field. If you take an honors class, you will earn 0.5 more of a quality point. So an A in a standard class is a 4 and an A in an honors class is a 4.5. But please remember, one class equals one credit. The difference is the quality point, not the credits earned. So earlier I mentioned that every student must take and pass 27 credits in order to graduate. I want to show you on this slide the breakdown of those 27 credits. So every student to graduate from Central Cabarrus must have four English classes, four math classes, four social studies, and those are world history, civics, American history one and two, three sciences, an earth science, a biology, and a physical science, which could be physics or chemistry, or physical science, a health and PE, only one is required to graduate, four classes in what's called a cluster, and then lastly seven electives. And if you add all those up, they make 27. Now to the right here, I have an example or I, I'm sorry, I have a breakdown for you of math and what you must do to complete those four math classes. You must have math one, two, three, and then a fourth math after math three. And I've given a couple examples here, advanced functions modeling or pre-calculus, and that's an honors class. So the most complicated course to take is math. What math do I actually need to be taking starting my freshman year? If you are in 8th grade math or scholars math, you will automatically be enrolled in Math 1. Math 1 does not have an option to be honors by the state of North Carolina. It is just Math 1. If you are currently sitting in Math 1 for high school credit, you'll be enrolled in Honors Math 2. If you're currently sitting in Math 2 for high school credit, you will automatically be enrolled in Honors Math 3. If you are in STEM, and currently taking Math 2 as an 8th grader, you will move to Honors Math 3 for STEM. STEM students, please note, it is a requirement to have completed Math 1 before entering Central Cabarrus High School in August. Do I need a foreign language to graduate? Well, the answer is yes and no. No, if you're trying to graduate high school and go straight to work, military, or community college, Yes, if you're planning on attending a four-year college or university. We offer two options in foreign language, Spanish and Chinese. If you are a native Spanish speaker, there is that additional option as well. We recommend that you start your foreign language in 11th grade for level 1, 12th grade for level 2. If you are currently taking a foreign language in middle school, then we re recommend that you take that next level starting your ninth grade year. So a question you're probably asking yourself is, what classes should I pick? Well, on your registration form, you're going to notice that you're going to pick one English, one math, one science, one social studies, a health and PE, and then we're going to ask you to rank your electives one through five, okay? And we call them alternates, classes that are used as backup electives if you don't get your first choice electives. So make your choices for electives wisely. Choose classes that you're interested in, that you would definitely consider taking. You know, you may not get your first choice, but you may get a, a later choice, a number four or five, but choose those courses wisely. There will be no schedule changes for ninth grade students for next year. The age-old question, what is the difference between middle school and high school? Well, let us tell you. The number one difference is the he said, she said drama that needs to be left behind in middle school. So please say goodbye to that when you graduate eighth grade. Social promotion. Any of you know a friend that just keeps getting promoted but doesn't pass all their classes? Well, sadly, that stops in high school. If you don't pass your classes, you will not get promoted. Your GPA starts that first day of freshman year. Colleges do look back 
for freshman, sophomore, and junior year. So please don't mess around your freshman year. Summer school. Summer school is a real thing. You are here on campus all day, Monday through Thursday, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., taking online courses for classes that you fail. Our attendance policy. Plain and simple. 14 or more days absent, excused or unexcused, because it does not make a difference, in any class, you will automatically fail that course no matter your final grade. Class change time. You have five minutes between classes. So walk and talk with your friends, get out to those mobile units, or you will get locked out, and eventually we'll have lunch detention. So let's remember these key things, and let's have a successful freshman year. Thanks, guys.